Homestead laws are strict in Texas, and these laws dictate who can encumber and transfer homestead properties. Very generally, a homestead residence is either 10 contiguous acres or less in the city, or up to 200 acres in the country. As a title company, we will treat the property that we are dealing with as homestead unless the owners own other real property in Texas, which they claim and use as their homestead. Please know that whether or not they have a homestead exemption on the property is not conclusive evidence that this is or is not their homestead. Why do we treat all property as homestead property unless we have evidence otherwise? Because we are ensuring the buyer that they have indefeasible title and ensuring the lender on their loan. If a buyer buys an individual's homestead and the person is married, even if the spouse is not on the deed, the spouse must sign on the deed conveying title to the buyer. Otherwise, the spouse retains the homestead right to use the property and this homestead right is prior in right to the new buyer's ownership. Homestead is an equitable right as opposed to a legal right and is highly protected under the Texas Constitution. Under Article 16, Section 50B of the Texas Constitution, both spouses must sign to 1. Sell the homestead or 2. Place a lien on the homestead. We often see situations where a man bought a property as a sole and separate property before he got married. He then got married and his spouse moved in with him. It is their homestead. The husband passes away and in his will, he leaves the property to his children, not his wife. If the woman, now widow, still lives in the homestead property, she must join in on any documents that would sell the property or place a lien on the property. So remember, even if it is the other spouse's separate property, both spouses must sign on homestead property. This is irrespective of any pre or postnuptial agreement entered into between the spouses. Another issue we are seeing lately is what we consider pretend sales, where people are, maybe unintentionally, trying to avoid the homestead protection laws. A pretend sale involving defeasance means a sale that appears to be valid on its face, where there is a deed from one person to another, but is really a disguised loan, where seller never moves out of the property and or has the right to reclaim the property when this loan is paid. The courts look at the facts to determine if it is a pretend sale. Some of those facts include a seller lease back for an indefinite or long term, sell for, of the property for less than what it's worth, debtor slash creditor relationship between the parties, a statement by the grantee of a willingness to reconvey the property if the money is refunded, and more. Many times, people try to do a pretend sale because they cannot otherwise qualify for a home equity loan or the owner wants cash from an individual or entity not allowed to make a home equity loan under the Texas Constitution. Well, of course, all the facts come into play when analyzing this particular transaction. Family to family transactions and third party buyers where the seller is not moving out are automatically presumed present 10 sales. Our job is to ask questions and make sure that we are providing both buyers and lenders with insured products that we believe in. If you have questions about a transaction that you think could fall into a pretend sale, give us a call. We are happy to walk through it with you. As always, please send us a contract. Looking forward to working with you soon.